Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Much to bring you guys another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best tip on how to get more wins in Season 6. Because for some reason, I'm going to be honest with you guys, even as much skill as I have at this game, Season 6 seems to be some a difficult season for me. Just because everyone's play style is completely different this season. And if you guys know, in the previous seasons, I told you if you heard gunshots, push towards it because you want a third party of the person in the team. So that way you can easily get the kills and stuff like that. But this season is just completely different because every single person is third partying nowadays man everyone is literally going to the gunfights anytime they hear gunshots they're gonna go there even if you're at the edge of the storm they don't care it seems like everyone out here is going mlg tryhard and they're literally just doing everything they can to get more kills so third partying is just way too big at the moment right now so in these tips and tricks that i have for you in today's video on how to win more games i'm gonna tell you guys the number one tip on how to win more games in season six and that is to avoid gunfights i know it sounds like you, yo you're not gonna get any better but i I know this video is not to get any better this is not really to improve your skill in the game it's to improve your win ratio in the game so i'm going to help you guys try to get as many victory royales in the season so that way you can show off to your friends and be like yo look i already have like 100 wins this season and they're only at like what two they're gonna be like geez you're you're a god so stay tuned for the tips and tricks with that being said let's get into the video Before we start the video, I want to give a huge shout out to all the sub donations over on Twitch last night. Guys, last night's stream was actually extremely fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. We got like five or six, seven, eight. I don't even know. We got a lot of subscribers that subbed over on Twitch. So guys, I'm doing a Twitch sub giveaway starting next weekend. So guys, stay tuned for that next week. And we're going to do a giveaway for only the people that subscribed on Twitch. Shout out to The Walking Dead 1972, The Real 4010. Aid, Aid, Aiden Cuz, I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Aiden, you know I butcher names, Cassidy, Horny Hunter, SMS Productions 19, and Zeus4410, guys, shout out to all you guys for subscribing, appreciate those subs more than anything, don't worry, next weekend we're going to be doing a giveaway for you guys, all the people that subscribed over on Twitch, if you guys don't know, I have a Twitch channel, I live stream usually every night, twitch.tv slash exotic motion, and with that being said, gotta give the shout out to, of course, my boy, Kargi for winning the brand new season pass. Kargi, you liked the video last video and you also commented down below what system you played on. Thank you for doing that. You are the winner. Contact me via Twitter, Instagram, doesn't matter. Just contact me and we'll go ahead and get you the battle pass for free. But shout out to Kargi. Thank you guys so much for all that. Now that we have that all out the way, guys, let's get into the video. So first off, what you want to focus on is your landing location. Now, I know before that we would land in like the bigger cities like Pleasant Park, Salty Springs, stuff like that, and any of the big cities. Now, Flush Factories is one of the most slept on cities because nobody cares to go here. But it's a good thing that nobody cares to go there. Hopefully, making this video, people understand that maybe some people might go there because I made this video. So it might become a little bit more populated. But think about it. You don't have to go to Flush Factory. You just have to go to a location where you don't think anyone ever goes the reason you want to go to this location is because you want to loot up you want to have as much mats as you possibly can as you guys can see in the background you're going to see me and my teammates literally farm everything inside of flush factor the reason you're want to, you're going to want to do this is because we're going to be playing this gb style like competitive style if you ever notice in competitive all they're doing is farming they're making sure that they have a lot of mats they're landing far away and the reason is is because everyone in the game is getting better to the point where you want to avoid gunfights you want to avoid running into people just because yes say you do end up winning that team fight and your team ends up winning and everyone survives somehow but people are weak there's going to be another team that most likely will pull up on you because you guys were sitting there they're fighting and it took so long that people heard gunshots from a distance and they're like you know what let's go push that because there's gunshots over there so it just sucks that that's how the game has changed into is everyone's third partying now if you don't know what third party means it's basically one and two parties are fighting each other and you're that third party that shows up to fight those two teams so that's what third partying is but it's just it's happening to me all the time i don't know if it's happening to you guys but over on pc there's a lot of people doing it and just way too many people going super try hard like that so me and my team we decided you know what let's find a new route let's try to find something else something different change our play style and see if we can get some more wins so last night we literally pulled off i think like five or six Six wins and i don't even know how long after the end of the stream i played probably like three hours maybe and we we got so many wins in that three hours it was it was insane to say but we were just trying to find things out for our video idea we were trying to find out the new play style and how we were supposed to do it so we were farming everything there while moving to the next circle so the second you land if you do land flush factory 
of course loot everything get your loot up make sure you guys have good weapons and stuff communicate with your team but also farm as much as you possibly can yes that's right wood metal and brick all of that you want to farm it all you want to have try to have like as much mats as as you possibly can towards end game and I'll go over towards the end of the game why you're going to want to do this. But you're also gonna to wanna to pay attention to the circle because if the circle is super far from you, you can't spend too much time looting in that one area. You gotta find another location. Like for instance, us right now, we just hit that location, but we decided, you know what, let's start going to the tornado and let's use the tornado or the floating loot lake island as a way of transportation. And since there's no vehicle there or anything like that, we can just use the island. We can use the little tornado, fly up and just travel to the next location. But we're trying to avoid people so keep in mind we're going to secret locations we're gonna be hiding I made a video like this way back in like season 2 talking about hiding it is how you're supposed to get more wins and stuff like that and a lot of people were getting wins a lot of people that video has almost a million views on it like 14 15 thousand thumbs up everyone's commenting saying it worked it helped you get the win and stuff like that but that video was in season two so things have changed and now we're going back to the whole season two meta where we just gotta we gotta play it slow just too many people are going to try hard so if you do want to get kills and stuff like that this video is not for you but if you want to get more wins keep watching this video if you have friends and stuff and you guys all want to get wins keep watching this video and i'm going to show you guys the best tips now, like I said, you're going to be wanting to make your way to the circle, but hang out towards the edges of the circle. You want to avoid any type of gunfights. If you hear people shooting, try to go a different route. Try to avoid them. Try to just avoid them. Now, if they're shooting at you, sometimes you're going to have to fight the fight. If you guys can see, one of our teammates ended up dying, and that's just one of the downsides to it is we ended up having to fight one time, and we lost Bricky in the run. So now it's a 3v4 towards the end, so it sucks. But as you guys can see, I'm building like these little boxes and cubes and stuff like that, and that's because I'm trying to protect myself, protect our team, so if anyone comes to us, we, we're protected. Nobody can really shoot us down because we have all this thing supporting us, and we're not going to take any damage. And again, there's only, what, nine people left minus us three so that's what six people left in the game which is not that many people but i'm still playing it super safe because i do not want to be the person to get rushed by a team and then the third party comes in and ends up wiping us out if we pull off that win so as you guys can see i'm literally just setting this up for me and my team we're all going to come in here wait till the next circle moves when the next circle moves then we'll go ahead and move to a new location which you guys are going to see here in a second and again teamwork communication talking and stuff like that is everything with your team if you see a team call it out tell your teammates hey let's not push this way let's push somewhere else but you see that the circle has moved so instantly right right away we start moving to the next circle now we're keep in mind you got to be looking around you can't just automatically say oh no one's gonna see me let me just run you got to look around if you see people like right now i see people over in wailing woods inside the center like the bunker area but i'm like you know what let's not push it let's just set up at the edge of the circle where the supply drop is set up our own little one by one bases like how i was doing and we can tunnel our way around the circle hopefully we can survive and this is how you're supposed to do it and this is how the pros do it guys if you look at any type of pro friday fortnite i don't care what it is pro scrim summer skirmish uh fall skirmish any of that this is what they're doing they're turning inside of a box and just waiting they're just playing it slow playing it safe anytime they see an opportunity then they'll go ahead and take a shot but until then they just they just play it slow plays there's no reason to rush anything that you don't need to rush and in previous seasons i would say that you want to rush people because a lot of the people were bad but in i don't know season six man there's i've been rushing people and i've been dying and that's because literally the second i rush them another team pulls up and starts shooting at me because they're just third partying and it happens every single time you guys saw it on stream last night and you guys are probably going to see it in this video right here so we're focusing there's probably three teams left there's us one other team and another team so there's three teams alive still in this game i see that there's a team right there in the middle and then we heard somebody take a rift or a launch pad and we were worried we we're worried if they were going to come to us or go to these people if they went to those people in the middle that's perfectly fine but we actually noticed that we see the two teams fighting right now so we're, we're like okay good let those team two teams fight and then towards the end of the fight when they're done that's when we'll push when we know that it's only a 1v1 our team versus their team they just got done with the fight so they're probably weak that's when we'll push but we're not going to push now because knowing that there's three teams that's an uneven number which means someone's going to third party so i'd rather not get third partied i'd rather be the one third partying them so as you guys can see i'm literally just camping waiting it out so here in a second you're going to see us get rushed by another team but we all have launch pads and stuff like that because we spent a majority of our time looting different cities that nobody would else would go to so we got launch pads we got grenades and stuff like that and you see this team pushes up on us in a few seconds so we decide you know what let's launch pad out of here avoid this team and just try not to get third party let's just get out of here go somewhere else somewhere new and avoid it all so you're gonna see us literally fleeing away from everybody until we notice that it is the last 
ask him alive. I'm going to take you guys to game chat so you guys can actually hear the callouts and stuff like that. You can hear how we're panicking and all that. So you guys get the full experience, but I'll see you guys after the game chat so you guys can actually listen up and see what's going on. I'm about to drink a big pot, to be honest. I have a jump pad if we, guys need, if we need to fly out. You, yeah, you have I'm on sure. there leave? Yeah, fly out. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Come on, Jack. I pushed the Oh, wait, kids. we can't. We can't go anywhere, though. They're flying the to us. Here, uh. Let's take a big pot. I'm with Anthony John, where you at? Come here, Jose. Coming to you guys. Oh, there's a dude right here. Oh, he's not. I need, uh, I need, uh, heals. I know I got shields. I have, here. uh, three minis. Okay. Here, so I'm gonna take the big pot and the mini. I'll take the mini, I'll take the mini. I have another jump that we can go. Yeah, we got to. Go, 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 go. Did you use it? Yeah. Someone's up here at the top. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I, I came I came to the edge of the circle. Oh, uh, I'm with Anthony. Oh, it's in here. Oh, that's where you blocked my line of shot. I'm ready. Ready. Oh, they're on top. They're just spraying down. There's a heavy sniper here, dude. I'll bring it's it to you, Anthony. Good. Just meet up with Anthony. Meet up with Anthony. Alright. There's two people to our uh, Safi, Safi, Safi. Anthony here. These guys have endless. Anthony here, pick us up. You have a gold. I have a purple one. He's pushing. Where they at? Hey, uh, 3v2. 3v2. Uh, these niggas. Jesus. I said these two, like that, like they were trash or something. <laughs> Damn. Fuck me. These guys are good. One trying to flank. Yes, yeah. yeah. Lit that kid up. Get ready to get to the next circle. Uh, Anthony having flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where'd the other one come from? They both over here, Anthony. Anthony, you fighting? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Huh? He's gonna die. So as you guys saw right there, we didn't end with many kills, but we pulled off a victory royale. A lot of those people at the end game were pretty good at the game. They knew what they were doing. But you notice how like I would land on a team, sh shoot them a little bit, and then I would fly out of there and I'd get out of there. That's because I knew I had launch pads, but my teammates played away from them because we do not want to rush people. Like I said, when there's nine people left in the game, there's no reason to fight them, get weak for no reason, waste mats for no reason, and then let the other team come rush you for no possible reason. So that's why I literally landed on them shot them a little bit got out of there the second i got shot launched to my friends and the second we got in the the next circle we just waited we we saw that they ended up dying it was only two one team left besides us so it was a 3v1 and we just played it smart we played the circle we played the edges and that's how you guys are supposed to do it guys if you want more videos like this where i actually break it down give you guys live gameplay to see here and see what's going on please give this video a thumbs up i appreciate likes more than anything i hope to see you guys in the stream tonight i may stream tonight if it is going to be a live stream it'll be late tonight if it's not happening i, I apologize you guys i got things i gotta do that's why i'm saying it might be a late live stream tonight but guys thank you so much it's friday it's the weekend let's go have fun let's go get victory royales this weekend and i'll see you guys in the next video peace